Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a really long time since I posted and I apologize for not been posting in a while. Um, the reason why I've not been posting is just because I've been just taking a break from YouTube and just been focusing on other stuff. If you didn't know, I sprained my ankle um, about a month ago. Yeah, over a month ago actually. Over a jiu-jitsu tournament and ever since I've just been kind of off with like, you know, posting and just with other stuff so i've been i stopped making fan videos because some of these fans i have to carry like these for example they weigh quite a bit and it's kind of hard on my ankle so i've been not been posting because of that and i do apologize for that but it's pretty much healed i wouldn't say it's 100 percent, but i'd say it's probably around 98 percent, which is close enough for me and so I'm finally back in business. Anyways, I have this 2000s Patton U2 1887 Holmes Buyout High Velocity Air Circulator. I've had this fan for over a month, obviously, because, I mean, you've seen a couple of videos of this. I've had my first video of it, which I've done with every single one, and then, like, um, startup sounds, which I've done with this fan already. And this fan's in pretty good condition, I'd say. It's not, like, the best shape, but it's in pretty good shape, considering that it's been looked like it's been used a lot. It's not in rough shape by any means, but I wouldn't say it's perfect. It's not mint. I mean, you can see it's a little bit dirty. I can always clean that up, too. I mean, the blades look like they could use a little bit of a cleaning. And it has, like, tiny, tiny, tiny bit of rust. You can see more of it, like, right here. <laughs> but... From the most part, it's in really good shape. So, I've been wanting to get one of these fans for a long time because I never had this model, but I finally found one, and this was the one. And also, this switch box right here has a big hole right there. It was like that when I got it. And I don't know why it has that. I wonder how that happened, but I think it's okay because I've run it several times, and it runs pretty good. And as you see, it's a three-speed fan off high, medium, low, which you already know. And it's got a cord wrap, which that probably doesn't surprise you because all the Holmes Biot models have that. And here's the motor. It's got a 2.6 amp Raider motor, what I believe. And then whatever that information is. And then right here it says 2.6 amp McMillan motor. And... Yeah, that's about it. I mean, really, that's about it. Then here's the cord. Cord's in really good shape. I mean, not really in any rough shape at all. Has, I guess, paint or whatever that is. It's got, like, a little bit of paint right there. I can always scrape that off. But, yeah, that's pretty much about it from right there. Now I'll go ahead and I'll plug in the fan. And I'll give it a short little run. This fan is actually very, very powerful. It runs at a really high RPM. Probably has to do with the blades. Because I noticed the blades are quite a bit different with these. If you look right here, they're quite a bit different. It's kind of like that on my other U2 18A7 from, I think it was the year 1998 or 99. I can't remember now. <laughs> but it has that. The only difference is obviously, you know, it's blue. And this has the clips, which obviously... All the home spiles have. So anyway, enough talking. I'm going to go ahead and, and get this thing all fired up. And we'll see how it goes. It's very loud. It's quite a bit loud, actually. It's very powerful, too. It blows a lot of air. Very powerful fan. Alright. Medium. Medium isn't too much of a difference from high. But, again, I mean, it does make quite a bit of a difference on air, but it still blows a lot though. A 
lot of air. It's very problem with fan. And low. Low speed is actually not too bad. I mean, based on how loud it is, it's not like too bad at all. And even with low speed, it still blows a lot of air. Which is what these fans were really known for. I mean, it's a very good fan, very powerful. And considering, I guess, how much use this person had with it, because I'm assuming they used it a lot, it's in actually pretty good shape and still runs amazing. It just shows the quality of these fans. I mean, this fan only has a 10 year warranty, because that's what the home spots were. But even then, I guarantee it's over 10 years old, obviously, because we're in, what, 2023 now? So obviously, this fan still runs really good. As long as you take really good care of it, it will last you. So, anyway, I'll set the thing up back up to medium. It still blows a lot. And high speed. And once you turn it off, it kind of vibrates a little bit as it's slowing down. I guess it's kind of natural for all these fans. Not really a big deal. And the spin down times actually looks to be pretty good. Not bad at all. So, yeah. Um, I think that will do for this video. And once again, I do apologize for not posting lately. Is that like a crack or what is that? I don't know. Weird. But anyway... I apologize once again for not posting in a while. Um, I'll try and post more often again soon, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.